Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Modern Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, I want to talk about the AN94 Hyper Burst stats, which is the faster rate of fire on the first two shots because apparently I was wrong about it. The AN94 stats on my last episode did not match the stats of Exclusive Ace, J God, or COD Gun Data, which are all very reliable sources. And while, as a point of personal pride, I don't like being wrong, being wrong in science does mean there's more to learn, which is exciting. They claimed that it shot faster than what I measured, and that the third round also shot in hyperburst, giving it a much faster time to kill than again I projected. So what I wanted to do is test this out again on my PC by first capping it at 60 FPS, and then testing it at 120 FPS to see what would happen, and the 120 FPS results were very, very interesting. I wanted to let you know before we get too much further in that the Call of Duty engine's base unit of measurement is frame rate. So upping the frame rate can sometimes change gun stats and movement speeds and fire rates but the Call of Duty teams have worked to minimize that effect and make it much more minor now than it used to be. And generally speaking, multiples of 60 tend not to give very different results, so my data here should be good, fine, and dandy. So when I tested the AN94 at 60 frames per second, I got four frames between the first two shots of the hyperburst, and even less frames between the second and third shot. I got three, and I put an asterisk on that because sometimes it was as low as two frames, which was kind of crazy. So the way this maths out is that at 60 frames per second, the first and second round of the AN94 fire at 900 RPM, and the third round surprisingly fires faster at 1200 RPM, which is kind of crazy. I did try to measure the burst delay again, and I got seven frames between bursts, and that burst delay is 116 milliseconds, which is quite fast, honestly. But what, where this episode gets really interesting is at 120 FPS. I made sure to record the footage in 120 FPS using some custom settings on OBS and make sure the game was capped at 120 FPS so it ran that way as well. So after doing that, I measured the frames between the first two shots and found that that's eight. And do keep, these have gone up, but do keep in mind that our frame rate here has doubled. So that's eight out of 120 instead of eight out of 60. And the frames between the second and third shot was five, which makes sense why sometimes it was three and sometimes it was two before because it was frame rounding one up and one down. What this means for you is that the AN94 rate of fire stats at 120 FPS are still 900 RPM for the first two rounds, but then 1,440 rounds per minute for that third round rate of fire, which is just bonkers. I do want to point out that I measured this again and again and again, and I got exactly the same results. I also measured burst delay and got roughly the same results. At 120 FPS, I got 15 frames between bursts, which meant the burst delay is 125 milliseconds, again, quite fast. And when you math all of this out, that means that the new AN94 time to kill is somewhere between 108 milliseconds and 116 milliseconds, depending on which frame rate you think is most accurate to measure from. Uh, the exact numbers here aren't quite as important as the fact that that's just an extremely fast time to kill. And the only weapon in the game that can kill faster is the FAMAS, and that's only in base multiplayer. In base multiplayer, if you burst somebody and hit your first three bursts perfectly with the FAMAS, it will kill faster. But that's only slightly faster. That's barely faster. And you have a delay. It's not like going to go full auto like this gun. So uh, I was a little bit wrong about the AN94 being mediocre. In regular maps, the AN94 in regular mode is actually very strong. It kills people very quickly, but it is dependent on you not missing at all. If you miss any of your first three shots, your time to kill is going to go way down. Your accuracy is going to go way down. The... Uh, just reliability of the weapon and the sampling goes way down but if you get really good at hitting those first three shots this is a melt machine this murders people this is ridiculous and i tried to use it in warzone instead of putting it in select fire and just using two round bursts i tried to do the three round burst timing thing and i found the three round burst timing to be significantly more effective in warzone it still may not be a top tier weapon but it performed a lot better and it was a lot more usable and i think I think the AN-94 is a little bit better than we gave it credit for. As a matter of fact, this might actually be a CDL kind of weapon. This, this could be really meta-changing in the competitive scene. That's all for the stats in today's episode. I kind of don't like making videos that are too short because YouTube punishes me for that. So for the last half of this in-depth, what I want to show you is a live game of me using the AN-94 in Warzone while trying to time the three-round burst to minimize the time to kill and actually had a great game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. I hope you enjoy. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out. Super Tom, I hope your night shift goes well. Got one on the ground down here. Target Gonna ignore Jay for Schmidt. now. 
Sorry to hear that. I'd rather take the elevation. Besides, the floor is hollow now, so we can shoot him through that. Oh, he found a whole ass team in there. Rent a girlfriend? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm talking with these lads about anime. I have not tried Rent a Girlfriend or Kanojo. What does that say? Okara Shimasu? Right about the rental cost, about 350. It's not that guy's day. No, it's not. He, he really, really wasn't his day. Continue. Tell me how your day has been. <laughs> Can I have a kiss, Jessica? Uh, behind us oh, somewhere? Uh, yeah. northeast? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm about to die! They're at like the fountain area, I think. Okay. <laughs> That's not helping. I mean, there's only one fountain in the promenade where people usually camp on. You better get off the roof. <laughs> yep, I'm yep. moving. Oh, how do we get around that? You got this. Drift threat. What's up? <laughs> got this. Yeah, I did succeed in doing that. Right in front there's of us, right here. Going. No! Uh, they're they're on my dick here, man. Yeah, there's a lot here. Target down. Ah, oh, that car. Oh, I got quick scoped. He's right around the corner. Thank you for the pickup. There's more though. Save and drift because he's the bounty, and I don't want them to get money. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna res hubs fight, hubs fight. Can we do that armor Tommy. box? Yeah. yeah. Come on, hubs. Did, are you fucking kidding me? There's so many fucking people in here. There's more on the right, on the right. Armor box is on the floor. Okay. The res is there. You can grab my mask and get me. You got 11 seconds, though. So I'll be able to come back in, but I won't be able to do anything. Enemy UAV overhead. Got the gas moving in. Oh, you fucking. Did it really? Uh -huh. I hate Infinity Ward. I'm sorry, I man. Really do. I am so. That is not what I wanted to happen to you. There's a lot of people dying over here. Oh, uh, see, I'm trying to get. Let him die, I say. I see them. They're on the wall. Um. Is there any good cover in the zone? There's people on the hill, too. Not really. Got one down. Can we be him? Nope. I think too. we should go ahead and rotate and get in. There's some walls here. They're not good. Super Tom cover. has the They're point cover. there, Ruel. This I mean, if you have a from south, you have a company like Tencent promoting a mobile app. That's like so many resources. They're behind this. Moving. Okay. That's also that guy. Moving. Oh, the other two are trying to sneak behind us. Armor broken on the first guy. Armor broken on the second guy. That one cracked. They're pushing, though, right in front of us. Got one downed in the zone. Oh, no. He's behind that wall. Can you get me up? Got another one down. I need I need cover. Cover with whatever you got, please. Almost dead. I'm lossing him. That is a win. Oh look at that! Nice. Dude, that was a great Good game. Start. Mini Royale is really fun, in my opinion. I think Mini Royale is one of the more fun 
modes that Infinity Ward has come up with. 